Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial in Barrow Trauma. Uh, for this tutorial I'll be teaching you guys how to wire up navigation systems, uh, which is your engine and your pump. Um, in this, this, this right here is just a test sub, nothing too special. Um, there are three, no, four uh, key ingredients if you want your ship to actually move around. All right. Number one is a, bed, is a dedicated ballast tank, which is this right here. This right here is a ballast tank. Right now it doesn't have a hole in it, which it should probably have. Um, holes define uh, rooms. Like, they define areas where there's no water. And you can name stuff where the game will automatically name it for you. The game automatically names it for you. It's not going to come out good. The game always, like, the game will end up, like, calling, like, command, like, an airlock or something like that, you know? So, anyway, so we have our holes, alright? These holes define air. Simple enough. So, we're gonna need a ballast tank, which is this right here. And we're going to need an engine, a pump, and your navigation terminal. So, go and grab a fuel rod. Uh, we already have this sub um, wired up, everything is already powered. Uh, so,. In this sub, we have all the key ingredients for navigation. Now, if we were to just test the sub and spawn where the spawn point is, uh, power of the reactor, like always. Alright, you notice we can't do anything. Alright, no matter where we move this arrow, nothing happens because we're not in control. So, how do we get in control? Well, it's pretty simple. First off, you have to take control of the ballast tank and the engine. So the way you do that is uh, you have to wire them in a way where the navigation terminal is able to decide where they travel. So I'm going to be wiring the engine first using a blue wire. We take the set force on the engine and we navigate to the navigation terminal and we put this blue wire at velocity x out. Do not put it at velocity Y out. Remember, X is horizontal and Y is vertical. Remember that your engine has to always be on velocity X out. Now, as for your ballast tank, you have to wire up the pumps. Uh, so, these pumps have a million different things. For the engine, it was pretty simple. For the pumps, it's a little bit more complicated. For the pumps, what you're going to need to do is take your wire and put it on set target level. Then navigate to your navigation terminal or whatever other means you have of travel. And put it at velocity Y out. Now you're now you're basically all set up. These two will start working as long as you have the main thing, which is power. We're gonna go ahead and have the reactor just auto start because I can. Um power is extremely important, alright? You you can't live without it. Without power, the ballast tank, uh the ballast pump rather uh, it won't pump, the engine won't engine, and the uh, navigation terminal will not turn on. Now, let's suppose that our navigation terminal, oh, whoop-de-doo, no more power. <sighs> no power. Oh, so our engine has power, and our t pump is balanced to power, but the navigation terminal is not. Sonar does not work, and we cannot move the ship. We can try to maintain position and whatever else, it will not move. And you cannot have control. So yeah, that's what happens when, you, when the terminal does not have power, basically. And we'll also say insufficient power at the bottom, like you just saw. Uh, but let's go ahead and just do this real fast. Okay. It now has power uh, from the junction boxes. So now that our uh, systems, our engines, and our pump have the power, and our terminal has power... We can set it to autopilot to maintain position. And you'll notice that your screen begins to move down a little bit. That's because the ship is moving up. As you can see, the, defend, the descent velocity is changing. And I'll show why. We move this all the way up there. We go to the ballast tank. You'll notice. You can hear the pump working. Okay, well, not anymore because it stopped. Uh, yep, see, there you go. Right here, the pump is doing its job. It's pumping in water and pumping out the excess. So 
So, if we just do this. Just give it a second. Alright. You'll hear the little grinding sound. That's this thing. That's the engine doing its job. And if you take a look at the terminal, you'll notice the ship is indeed moving forward. That's gonna be uh, that's basically it for the uh, navigation. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day.